Good morning YouTube, it's your buddy Anders here with another video. It is Wednesday, which means I'm off work, hurrah! Um, although I'm not going to be doing a huge video today, simply because I have a lot to do around the house and so on. So, um, firstly, congrats to the people who won my giveaway at the weekend. I did the live stream, which was awesome. Um, there was three prizes, four prizes. Um, uh, Ralph Wolven Bushcraft won the Mjolnir. Uh, Jackie Smith Metal Detecting won the um, photography book. And uh, two Viking pouches went to Lucy Empk and Red Wolf Bushcraft, I think he was. I can't remember his name. Do apologise. So, yeah, um, I'll be sending all those out soon. Uh, I'm just going to get some stuff done. Anyway, moving on to today's video. So, um, I did a video a while ago. And it was called Vlogging on a Budget, um, using and doing some basic reviews of some stuff that you can pick up from Poundland uh, for use in vlogging. And I think only two out of the five items that I purchased were any good. Um, for some reason or other, the video never got uploaded. I filmed it in Jan and I filmed, posted it last week. And it's had a few likes and it's had a few hits, so I'm pleased with that. Today's video is more about camping and bushcraft. So, what I'm going to talk to you about today is Poundland do their own brand of budget camping equipment. So they have carabiners, they have a five-in-one camping tool, carabiner bungee, <coughs> lead camping lantern, water carrier, and some other bits and pieces as well. Um, <coughs> Poundland stuff is sometimes very shoddy, Poundland stuff is sometimes actually quite good. Um, <coughs> there's a guy on YouTube called Big Clive and he does um, Loads and loads and loads of reviews of Poundland stuff and he does hacking of them and all sorts. I'm not that in depth, but I'm going to go through today some of the Poundland kit and we'll have a quick review, see how it works, if it's any good or not. <coughs> now, um, I like to work on the cheap, as cheap as possible, but I don't like to sacrifice on quality. Um, so when it's come to like doing all these vlogging videos and my YouTube channel, I like to... <coughs> You know, spend a little bit more on quality stuff but if I can get something for cheap and it's usable and functional I'm happy with that so that's what we're going to look at today now <coughs> their brand is called Peak Trail I don't know if that's a trail to the peak or a trail across the peaks or something like that it's their generic logo it's got you know a sunshine and some trail and stuff like that anyway <coughs> right so <coughs> the first thing they do they do a full pack of carabiners um, if you know what carabiners are, they're quick like hook loops uh, that you can use for rope for tying and stuff like that. <clears throat> now, it does say on the back, there is a warning that comes with it. Warning! This carabiner is designed to be used as a keychain which is not able to take any significant load and should not never be used as climbing equipment. <clears throat> this item is not intended for safety equipment. <clears throat> so, from the bat, you know that this is not designed for proper, you know, hardcore stuff, but it's a four pack of carabiners. If you're just using them for quick sling and you just want to hook something to your belt or something like that, I assume they'll be alright. They only had the one colour, they had this lovely fetching orange. <coughs> um, and they are, I mean, they, <coughs> they feel cheap. Um, I believe aluminium, maybe, aluminium, al 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 Alumin, aluminum, aluminum, yeah, I can't word, aluminium, right, and it looks like actually there are two different sizes in there, there's one that's, I don't know if you can see the difference, this one's a thinner one, that one's a thicker one, um, right, so they've got a decent spring on them, they catch okay, they open and close, let's see if I can find something to hook these onto, let's see what they're like, one second, Okay. Not the perfect thing, it's just an old camera strap. But they will see you theoretically just go hooky hooky hook. And they're just designed to literally to clip on. These are really stiff actually. And there you go. So yeah, it's not designed to hold any weight. Um, I mean they're alright. If you're just going camping, you just want to quickly um, hook something onto a belt or something like that and as it says they're not designed for proper use um, I wouldn't trust like hooking a camera onto my belt or anything valuable to be honest um, they seem 
flimsy at best. I, I think that they would break quite easily. The aluminium locking mechanism on the rear there, that's so thin there, I think at some point it would pull through and it would snap. Um, let's see if we can actually snap one, because I reckon you probably could quite easily. Yeah, actually, not bad, it's holding some weight. I mean, I, I don't know the exact weight on these, I'm not going to try and find out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a four pack of carabiners, they're in a bright colour at least, so if they do fall off, you'll at least know what you're looking for. And that. But yeah, four for a pound. And again, the disclaimer does say that they are only suitable for, you know, light use. So fair enough. I mean, they'll be all right. They're not wow, but I'm pretty sure you could get better carabiners than that for around about the same price. Okay, so the next tool that we have is their knife. Well, multi-tool. Um, it's one of the Challenge 25 ones, so you can't buy it unless you are under 25. Well, over 25, or look over 25. Um, thankfully, they didn't ask me for ID. Or maybe not, thankfully. I'm disappointed, actually. Poundland, why did you not ask me for ID? Do I look over 25? Is it a beard? Is it a hair? I don't know. Is it the fact that I've got my 15-year-old daughter with me when I bought this stuff? Who knows? Anyway, um, I love this about Pound Shop. So, again, it's their peak brand. And they put it in packaging. Seal packaging. That cannot be opened without some sort of knife or scissors. Brilliant. Hopefully I've got some scissors so we'll snip it open. Um, yeah. There we go. Cut right across there. Okay. So, I don't know how good a quality this is going to be. Um, it's a five-in-one tool, so let's see what five tools there are. Um, it's also got a little thing on there to hold it in place, so we'll snip that out of the way. Huzzah. Who says huzzah? There we go. Right, so, firstly, there's some weird blue plasticky stuff stuck in it, which is odd. Right, so what have we got in here? What five tools do we have? We have a corkscrew, essential camping equipment right there. You know, if you wanted to have wine. But uh, spare, to be fair, possibly useful for kind of trying to bore into stuff. Um, yeah, Spring-loaded. So just flicking it, just hold it in place. So we have that. We have a Phillips screwdriver. Jeez, that's, hmm, that's a good start. Okay, so the Phillips screwdriver bit on it will not actually just about open. There we go, Phillips screwdriver. Have I got anything that I can test it on? I need to dismantle something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't know. Rear Phillips screwdriver. Quibbis, you know, Phillips screwdrivers. You're out in the woods and you think, oh, I need to tighten up some screws, etc, etc. But I suppose it's useful. Um, yeah, so on that side you've got the corkscrew. On this side you have, what do we have on this side? We have a bottle opener. And I'm assuming for a flat-ended screwdriver. We have a can opener. Um, is blunted and stuff like that and we have a blade so it does fit back into place quite nicely actually it's not too bad and we have a blade we have a little knife so the knife is about two and a half inches um, wow look 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 at the sharpness Mm -hmm. It actually removed any hair. Yeah. So it's not exactly the sharpest blade, which, you know, is to be expected from a pound shop. Um, but to be fair, you could probably put a decent keen edge on it. It hasn't got a point on the end. Uh, so, so for this, what I've bought is a piece of wood from out of the garden, um, which I was practicing doing um, feathering on to make kindling. And that's so I'm going to put you down. Are you ready? Um, I apologise about the light in here, it's not the greatest. And we'll see if we can do some curls on it. See if it will actually carve into the wood. <laughs> um, maybe. Hmm. 
Can you see that? Yeah. I mean, it kind of, well, it's not exactly easy going. Let's try on this side. It's not as good as my proper knife at all. Um, but I mean, you could put a decent edge on it. <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's 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 give up on it. It's it, it's cut some pieces of wood. Let's face it. It's a quid. If you're desperate and you need a knife and you need a blade, um, and you need a Phillips screwdriver and you need a can opener and you need a corkscrew, um, yeah, it's a pound. It's not a sharp blade, but I reckon you would maybe, maybe, maybe be able to put a keen edge on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen this and see how much of an edge we can get onto it. Because again, let me try again there. Nothing. It's literally just flaking the skin off. Not a single hair. All right. So for a pound, to be fair, it'd be all right. It's got a little ring clip on there, um, I mean yeah it's probably about as good as the carabiner so you could hook one of these onto your kit and so on and it, if you lost it you've spent £1.25 on a, a carabiner and that, yeah so it's not great but it's alright you know it's a pound if you're in a bind I'm sure it'd be alright um, I'm not sure how well actually let's try this how well that <laughs> yeah, so I literally just pulled and bye bye. So what you would probably recommend to do is if you're going to use it on a carabiner or something, replace with a little tiny uh, paper clip thick piece of metal. And I can't find where it's gone. And I don't want to leave it on the floor because somebody might stab themselves with it. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, right, moving on. So they also do, uh, which comes with two carabiners. Um, and again with these ones, they are just flip carabiners like that, spring-loaded ones. They're not locking ones that you can twist into place and lock. Um, so they also do a carabiner bungee. And on the back of it, it says, overstretching oh, cord can cause hook or cord failure. Not to be used for climbing, do not exceed 10 kilograms in weight. 10 kilograms. So that's really, um, you could use it just for, you know, holding stuff in place, but 10 kilos is not exactly, it's 10 bags of sugar. Um, comes on a little thing like that. And again, this is their Peak brand one. It says it's 120 centimeters long, which, back a bit, back a bit. That's about 120 centimeters long. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to hook this on something and see how long it'll go. Let's try door handle. So hooked onto the door handle there. Let's see how much stretch there is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Da, 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 da. So that'll stretch to. Um, can you still see me? That is about two, two and a half meters. It'll kind of stretch to without too much tension on it. I mean, it's just a bungee. If it's just for, you know, wrapping something up on your bag or something like that, if you want to hook your um, sleeping bag underneath your backpack, something like that, it'd be all right, because it's just, again, not holding any kind of weight. Um, one thing you do get, so for the one thing, you get four carabiners for a pound. Um, with this, you already get two carabiners and a bungee. So if a bungee fails, you've got two carabiners. And in fairness, these seem like stronger carabiners. Although, what's worrying me is that one, straight away, as you're trying to lock it, goes off alignment and won't lock in place, see? See, that all unlocks, and then, you see, it won't lock into place. So you have to encourage it. So if you're just looking for a quick lock onto something, yeah, see, not closed. Yeah. But again, it's a pound. Um, all it is, is just linked over the hoop and 
I think that's just like heat shrinked or something like that with some rubber or something like that onto it. So I reckon with enough tension in it, you probably could. Oh, there's something underneath there as well. It might be like some wire or a clip underneath the actual covering. Um, but again, yeah. it's lightweight. I will say that it's lightweight. Got two carabiners and it'll stretch to a couple of meters. It'll be decent enough for wrapping up some stuff. You know, if you don't want to wrap it, your tent's a little bit tight or something like that. You can wrap it around and so on and so forth. A pound. To be fair, that I rate. I think it's all right. The carabiners seem decent strength. I mean, they're not locking perfectly. You could probably. Actually, <laughs> they're not supposed to spring that way. Actually, no, I don't rate it. So what's happened is I went to lock it. It missed the thing. Locked there now, but I don't know if you can see the back of it there. The holding metal has just sheared off. And now it doesn't spring anymore. So here's me saying, oh yeah, these carabiners are quite decent. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Not in the slightest, but... Yeah, wow. That, that's... that's uh, mm. Shocking. <laughs> there you go, one broken carabiner. But at least we got these ones and we can... Yeah. So... Me saying it's not bad, <laughs> yeah, it's not great, but it's a pound, right, and you've got a bit of bungee. Okay, moving on, the next thing we have to review, straighten that up, it's a bit squinty. Mm -hmm. Here you go, let's have some coffee. Oh, we're up to 16 minutes. Okay, the next thing we have is, again, it's their Peak Trail, and this is their Lead Camping Lantern Collapsible. Uh, collapsible LED lantern with 11 LED lights, space saving, lightweight and requires 4 AA batteries. So it does not come with batteries. Fortunately I have some available already. Okay so that's it without and it just pops up like yay and it's got a little switch there that's on and off. Um, I wonder if it auto turns off when you close it, that'll be interesting to see. Possibly not. Uh, battery compartments on the back. It's not uh, weather sealed, but it's from a pound shop, so wouldn't expect it to be. What it looks like is on the one side of this jar here, you can probably see there's some reflective material. Um, so let's put some batteries in and see. So it takes four AA batteries. Uh, you could probably use pound shoppy ones, but I'm using some um, rechargeables for it. We have one there. We have, sorry, I'll put it into shot. We have one up there. We have, let's do that. Just so to find out. Even my batteries are dead or it doesn't work. One there and one there. And they don't fit in the greatest to be fair. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Why? In. This is not looking good, Poundland. This is not looking good at all. One plus in that one there, and minus in that one there. Ah, well, just a bit. <coughs> bit of a bit of a mission to clip it all in. Okay, so. Once we're all down together like that, and there we go. Right, let's see if it actually powers on. Ta-da! It does not power. Oh, on. we did have some contact just. Ah, right, okay, so the battery contacts don't exactly work in it very well. Um, right. So for it to actually work, you need to kind of push down onto the base, because it's not creating enough of a contact, which is awkward. So if you close it like that, so it doesn't turn off for one automatically when you um, pull the lantern down. So you do have to manually switch it on and off. Um, so that's now, is that on or off? That's on and then off. Okay. To be fair, I mean, it's a relatively brightish day today. I think that would be quite bright. And if it wasn't for that 
there. I mean, I can just adjust the springs in it or something, maybe, um, for it to work a little bit better. It's usable, you know, and, it, and in fairness, I mean, I hate for to say it, but it is disposable, and you shouldn't really want disposable items, you know. Um, Poundland have recently got into trouble for selling stuff that's basically just empty packaging for Valentine's Day. Um, they sell disposable um, power banks, which are not great. Um, but I wouldn't say, you know, I think it is annoying, but I'll tweak the strings on it, but on the springs on it. But oh, I, I would use that. Um, it does come with a hook at the top of it, like so, so you can hook a carabiner on it. It also won't stay closed when there's any kind of weight on it. So you could hook it up onto the top of your tent or shelter or whatever. But again, that contact there is a bit squiffy there. Um, it does close, like I say, it's, yeah. I mean, you can strobe it if you keep pressing it on and off, like so. Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> so, it's a pound. What do you really expect? It's not the greatest. Um, but again, it's it's usable. Um, they, I mean, they're trying to sort of do their rangers peak trail to um, you know hikers, campers, and stuff like that. But I think the reality behind this is, is festival use stuff. Um, it's not brilliant quality, but it's functional. Well, kind of, as we've seen with the carab. You know, the first lot of carabiners off the of bungee was broken. This doesn't particularly work well. The original carabiner is lightweight, the knife isn't sharp, but I suppose it's functional. Yeah. Um, so the only final thing that we have, and I'm not going to fill it with water today, is they do a 10 litre water carrier. And again, Peak Trail um, says, pack flat, ideal space saver, food grade plastic construction, detachable spout for easy filling with on off pour nozzle wash before use. Okay. So. Let's give it an open up and see. So it comes with a detachable nozzle and it comes with that. So 10 litres um, is, is quite a lot to be fair. And you know, if you're out and about and you do, you know, space saving wise, it's good. Um, whether the spout is waterproof or not, so you basically just you know, fill it out and it would kind of shape the float. It pulls out to a wee square like this. Wee square. So, um, the plastic feels, I don't know, not great on the corners to be fair, um, I don't know how much of a use you'd get out of it, um, but again, they are targeting, they're saying they're targeting campers, and they are, they're kind of targeting casual campers, because, you know, camping and bushcraft is coming into fashion, which is why I'm doing this vlog, um, and, well, I've been doing it for years, but I just thought I'd vlog about this kind of stuff, um, there's a little nick in it there, it might be split actually. Um, but yeah, they're very aimed at like the casual campus, festival goers and stuff like that for it to be disposable. Um, one thing I'm not too keen on is it does not say on it, it says it's food grade plastic construction, which is great, but it doesn't say whether it's BPA free. Um, BPA is a type of um, chemical that's contained in plastic that when you use, so you, disposable water bottles, are disposable uh, you will use them once and then throw them away me I will use one more and more and more but the trouble is when you use them more and more and more and the plastic is exposed to more water and it's exposed to light and heat uh, it degrades and this BPA breaks down and this chemical breaks down and you're starting to drink this BPA and it can cause you know things like uh, reduced immune system coughs colds that kind of stuff it breeds bacteria and that kind of stuff so I don't know whether this is BPA free and I would like to know if it was BPA free um, for continued use but I think the reality of this I don't think it would be for continued use it does have on the bottom of it a little hole which I think potentially you could maybe maybe but actually it's not an actual hole I was wondering if it was an actual hole so you could put carabiner through but you could also hook a carabiner to that and carry it, hold it like that um, 10 litres is that really 10 litres I'm not sure I might test that see if it actually will hold 10 litres it'll be interesting um, but yeah the plastic's not the greatest, the corners are really, really weak. I think you'd maybe get a few, three or four uses out of it. Um, 
I think the reality of it is that's what people are going to buy it for, just for festivals and stuff like that, uh, which does mean more plastics in landfill, which is not great for the environment, etc, etc. Um, but it serves a purpose, you know, Poundland are well known for doing cheap stuff that is pretty much disposable. Um, so yeah, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. When I'm out on one of my adventures the next time, I'll take it with, I'll fill it, maybe not full up, but half full up, and we'll see how we get on with it. Um, I doubt that that spout is, it comes with a locking mechanism on it, which is theoretically to open and close, but I doubt whether that's going to be watertight on it. Right, so that's it. Um, we're in 25 minutes for a video, for a review. Yeah, so, out of the five products, I'll put them all back on the settee. So we have that, we have Mr. Lantern, we have the bungee, we have the carabiners, um, we have a broken carabiner, and we have a knife. Okay, so going back to what we originally looked at, so we had the four carabiners. They're lightweight, they come in two different sizes, they're not designed to hold any kind of weight. Um, but they're functional in a bind. And they're a bright colour. I think that's the only thing going for them. They're bright, so you can see them if you get lost. The bungee stretches. It's 1.2 metres as described. It stretches out to about 2 metres. And as we found out straight away, the carabiners that come with it are trash and break. Woohoo! So, I'd say yay for the carabiners if you just need some. Stick them in your kit bag and they'll be alright. But, really would recommend getting some better ones. Bungee is a no. The light, the light, the light, the light, that doesn't light unless the battery compartment is held into place because the contacts don't work. Um, if it worked properly, I think that'd be an alright light, but mine doesn't. The knife is sharp enough to cut nothing. <coughs> um, so does it actually have five tools on it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it does have five tools. Well, technically six tools. Because it's got a can opener, bottle opener, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, cork screw, and a knife. It's a six in one. Pound shop, you're missing out on a trick, you should brand it as a six in one. And potential, greater, sander on the side as well. I mean, it is very, very lightweight. The clip on it was atrocious and obviously broke straight away. Yeah. But to be fair, for a pound, that's not bad as a little tool. And finally, we've got the water bottle, which who knows if it's any good or not. I will give it a try, but again, I think for, for the price of it and for what the market they're aiming at, it would function, but I think if you knocked it, you'd ding it, it'd just leak everywhere. I wouldn't trust that inside a tent overnight. I'd put it outside, because um, I reckon it'd probably get split or would leak if it was knocked in the slightest. Anyway, right, <clears throat> I'm going to draw this video to a close, because I've been talking for 28 minutes. Um, I had an email, well, message, uh, this morning. Somebody's been watching my videos. Yay, people have actually been watching my videos, which is shocking and awesome. And they, will, they watched the Dovedale video. And they said they really enjoyed it. Um, and they've got no links to the gear that I'm using, even down to footwear. Um, so I think that's a video that I'm going to do at some point, is I'm going to talk about what my kit is, what I use when I go out and about. So I'll talk about my hiking boots, I'll talk about, which I have one, two, three, three pairs of. <coughs> um, I'll talk about, like, I did a review uh, ages ago of the um, walking stick that I use. Um, but yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do a review video about the kind of gear that I wear for hiking and adventuring with. Um, I'm by no means an expert on that, but I will. Um, and as I said about like doing some affiliate program stuff as well. Um, I'm actually, uh, recently I've just signed up to the Amazon affiliate program. Um, and for some reason they approved me, hurrah. So yeah, but you might see some links below to like recommended products and stuff like that. Um, and if you click through and buy them, um, then I will get a tiny commission off them. And, uh, actually earn some money which is cool um i will only recommend stuff if i really recommend it if i think it's worthwhile i will never really um and i have been offered some paid promotion stuff um and i used to do like all the amazon reviews a couple of years ago but i will never i will always review honestly so if people want to send me stuff and then i'll give them five star reviews and say oh 10 10 this is amazing this is the best thing ever and it's a load of trash i won't do that um not sell out yet 
and I'm back. So it turns out this camera, my Sony, uh, what is it? HX80 only does 30 minutes of video and it cuts off and it goes no more. So you missed all my preamble, well, my post amble ramble discussion about stuff. I do apologise for that. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, um, yeah, I've had somebody uh, message me about uh, the uh, videos that I'm kind of doing and they want to do, I want to see some. Uh, reviews of what I wear, the kind of kit that I wear when I go hiking. They want to see more Viking stuff that's coming because I am healing up slowly, getting back to it soon, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to end there and I'm going to do another video soon. But what I want to say is thank you again for watching. You guys are awesome. Uh, it's great that I hit 100, 100 subs. I did it bump up to 125 and drop down about 118 again. No, so boo. Um, but again, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative. If it is, like, comment, subscribe, all of that kind of jazz. And I'll be doing some more of this review stuff again in the future. Um, I'll do some more budget reviews. I'll do some re recommendation stuff and I'll go through some of my kit. So again, thank you ever so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stop! I can't find my record button.